and I'm not gonna use my outside rein, I'm just gonna change feet and let him just follow that note. And then I'll change feet again, let him walk right back out. <coughs> and the biggest reason I do that is I just want him to be able to go in and out of the turn without changing his head and be able to go in smooth and out smooth. So now I'll change feet, wait on him, just let him crawl around that turn, and then right back out. If I feel like I'm getting resistance on this part, a lot of times I'll just take the outside rein, and once I have his head there, I don't really want to cross that neck rein over the neck because it kind of binds them up. So I'll just take and, and bump away with the outside rein because I want that snaffle to work right here. If that snaffle was straight, I would work here. If it's over here, I work it here. So I get that nose and then get the nose here too. So I want the nose over here and to be bridled up just a little bit. And then I just let him step around that. So I, and the biggest thing I want at this age is just that 